Welcome back to Bad Axe Bourbon. I'm Bobby. Woo! All right, let's get this one started. So today, I've had this bottle for, shoot, a couple months now at least, and I haven't cracked it. I'm about to crack it for you peeps right here. So what I'm talking about, Old Ezra, age seven years, cask strength. You guys see that right there? Yeah. I haven't had any of it at all, at all. So I'm about to fresh crack this sucker for you peeps right here. So let's do it. All right, so as I'm cracking it, get my, my glass right there, my bad ax glass right there. What we got here? Well, we got oh, that was decent. There you go. Yeah, it's all right. It's all right. All right. Get the bottle sniff. I don't really smell much, actually. All right. We got. Put that back in now. So we got Old Ezra's age seven years, barrel strength, and it is 117 proof. Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey, distilled in Asia in Kentucky for Lux Road Distillery, Bardstown, Kentucky. Company Lux Co., right? Let me get a little red nose on this. Ooh, that's like a cinnamon caramel Ooh, that's a that's a nice nose right off the jump all right let me put that right there just like that so back in the day let me see here that is a nice nose as soon as i get some of that ethanol it kind of goes away which is nice actually you get that little bit of burn it's like no no just kidding not gonna burn it right now i'm just gonna give you some nice nice flavors some nice aromas yeah that's nice some caramel what is that it's like a sweet uh candy cherry smell on the nose smell aroma use my words better like a brown sugar cherry nose that's kind of nice a tiny tiny bit of that uh oak tiny bit oh yeah get a little bit more of that uh that oak now that's a nice nose you know what I can't remember which one it is, but it's giving me a little bit of a Magnus nose. Joseph Magnus Cigar Blend nose. That's a really nice nose. And I know this isn't finished, so. Wow. How'd they do that? Okay. I paid, uh, let's say, $70 for this. $70. In Nevada. No, not in Nevada. Uh, Rockland Bottle Shop. I says, okay, well let's uh let's go ahead and go to the palette, peeps. Ooh. Ooh, -hoo -hoo -hoo. Well that's a burner. I don't know, but it's on the tongue. Burn it. Oh. Snap. Woo! Getting almost like a initially got like an old used tea bag flavor on the tongue which wasn't pleasant it's like fruity leaves old tea bag but that well I get a little bit of it still kind of went from the back of the tongue towards the front now really sweet and super spicy cinnamon spicy all across the tongue warmth it's a little bit of burn down the back of the throat to tell you the truth but get a little bit of caramel on the exhale too There is, there's a lot going on. There's a lot of flavor in there. I don't necessarily like that fruity old 
floral tea bag type of note that I'm getting initially, but it's a, it's a little bit there on the exhale, but it's not hanging around on the palate. This exhale is still there a little bit. That nose is incredible though. Still getting that good nose, wow. We'll call it the Magnus nose. I gotta start rating these. I gotta start rating a nose and a palate separately. <laughs> Cause this, that nose would bring this up. I generally just give ax rays to the palate overall. Cause generally that, you gotta be able to sip. You gotta be able to drink it, right? So that's ultimately what I rated on. Man, that's good. I can just keep smelling this one. Smell this. I could go uh, sip on something else and just nose this. That might help out a couple of the other whiskeys I got that aren't too good on the nose, but they're better on the palate. All right, let's go in for another one. Ooh, yeah. A little bit. Ooh, man. A little bit less burn? No, it was kicking up now. Well, it's the roof of my mouth, my tongue. Everything's fired up. Woo! It's more oaky and spicy now. You know that floral note, old floral tea bag note, herbal tea bag. That's gone. Yeah, this is the initial palette that I got. It was it was a little bit over. It was overpowering the rest of everything that was there. That's gone now on the second sip. You know, it's it's very it's not not watery, but it's not very viscous. It's it's very thin as well. It doesn't it doesn't coat very well. There's almost nothing actually. No, it's not grabbing onto anything. Uh, maybe a little bit now. There's a little bit now. But not a lot. The viscosity is way down, and it, you can feel that on the palate. It just kind of goes and spreads really quick, and it's really dry, actually. And that what's overpowering is the the heat, the, the ethanol, that and that little bit of allspice cinnamon. I, I'd go allspice more than I'd go cinnamon. But it just kind of hits, burns, or lasts too long then goes away and now that I'm, I'm done I haven't had a sip in a, I don't know, a minute or two now a tiny little bit of that herbal tea bag old herbal tea bag is coming back but it's got such a great nose all right one more sip it's better it's getting better on the my third sips better gets progressively better man it's I mean I was a third third sip now so not quite as much burn but it is hanging around you know it's better on the, the third sip you gotta give this one at least three sips it has gotten progressively better so let's I'm gonna take that into account it's 117 proof uh, Lux Co it is charcoal, it is charcoal mellowed, which when I read that at, at first, I was like, ooh, I hope this doesn't have that Jack Daniels-y kind of after flavor banana uh, forward, ruining it kind of uh, note. <laughs> but it doesn't, there's none of that there. I am getting a little bit of that, maybe the charcoal on the finish as well, uh, but a little bit of char. Huh. All right, going in for the four sit, people. Might as well, right? Might as well finish that sucker up. Progressively better. I'm getting more of, uh, I got some cherry on there now, on that spice. The burn is kicking it up a little bit, but it kicks it up and starts coming down more rapidly now on the fourth sip. And I, I actually don't dislike it now. That first one was, wow, boom, right in your face. But, you know, on third and fourth sip, get to the third and fourth sip and it's much better. All right, but I'm gonna go shoot. 
I hope it gets better off the, I mean, I just opened, you guys saw I fresh cracked it, so. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go. It is above average, so I'm gonna go three and a half. I don't think it's a four axer yet. Hopefully, you don't have to revisit it. Hopefully it'll be a, hopefully it'll be more than that. But right now, it's three and a half axes. Three and a half axes, people. Here we go. Three and a half axes. What do you like to say on this channel? Sharing good bourbon with friends and family is bad axe. I'm Bobby. Thanks for watching. Hey, until next time, but if you like what you're seeing, go check out the rest of my stuff on my channel. Uh, like, hitting a like and, and a subscribe, please. But hitting a like and sharing this video. Share it and share it, the rest of my videos. Uh, it does a lot for the channel. I really appreciate it. Trying to get to 2000 and get to Arizona. We'll go do a meetup with some other channels, right? And some good friends. So, again, I'm Bobby. Thanks for watching. Sharing good bourbon with friends and family is bad axe. Thanks for watching. Till next time.